What's up guys, Matt Ace here, back with another video. Today, we are doing a whole lot of cleaning, man. We are getting our screen printer ready. We are getting our rug station ready. Yeah, we're getting ready to do this shit, man. Live our life and just do what we want to do to be happy, man. But yeah, just clean out the garage, getting ready to start our company. I'm done being depressed, done being down. I'm ready to shine, I'm done spectating. I'm just ready, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking ready. When I came and the back, you just left from the front. You've been ducking all my texts, almost everyone. Only time you hit me back is when you need something done. I've been dealing with five months worth of shit with everything I'm doing for you by the end. But yeah guys, just got the garage done, got it all organized, got ready for work on Monday. Just gotta put in the work, you know what I'm saying? Gotta put in the work, gotta make these rugs, gotta make these clothes. You kinda see my little setup. My big bro gave me this. I kinda drew on it, added my own flavor. Minor shit. Gotta kinda get this organized to be honest. Gotta move this cause I gotta take advantage of the space that's underneath it. I can use the storage. I got my carpet frame. I gotta make a smaller one so I could uh, make smaller rugs. Got the incubator. And then we got our, it's a light. And then this shit too part of it oven basically you gotta like cure the ink that you use for t-shirts it's a process man we're about to go check on the birds now because this is situated this is ready what's up dude it's a little too hot for them for the summer i right, built this during the winter now i'm gonna open it up a little. all right do you need anything no water bb red hand sitting black hand sitting white hand sitting she should be almost ready i really want to bother her Bengal blue hen sitting. Everybody is sitting. All right, I do not want to open the cages because I do not want to put stress on the hands. But that's a Spangle blue hen. She's sitting on some eggs. But that's it for over there. That's like my main pen. And over here, I have OAGB rooster. Um, and then I got these guys. They're going out soon. I just got them in a smaller uh, cage just to kind of tame them. Yeah, so they're not as wild or hard to handle when they get arrived. Or, you know, the customer. And yeah, the hennies are doing good. I already took out the first three eggs from the hen. So the ones in there should be fertile yeah so she got two eggs right now and yeah i'm very excited for that the last two birds we're checking on are these two birds that are going out uh, this is the sarama he's going out monday and then i got this naked neck over here he's nice I was gonna breed him because I do want a little bit of everything, but not right now. I'm not gonna breed naked next right now. I'm gonna wait and be patient and just do it with what I got right now. What up, Billy? If you guys follow me on Instagram at Little P Bantams or Maddie X Ice, you will see that I was live just doing stuff, moving on birds, cleaning up some stuff, and just organizing stuff live and talking to talking to y'all, y'all chicken people. <laughs> uh, again, guys, I love raising chickens, man. It, the community is awesome because we go to shows and it's kind of like beauty pageants and really awesome. It's really cool. You meet all kinds of people. It's a fun, it's a fun little hobby that I enjoy with my dad. But yeah, I gotta go to the garage, I gotta go to the workstation and get some shit done. So we're about to do that. Dad's over here on the grill. Let's go say what's up. What are you cooking? Fresh pork belly. For you guys who are not interested in raising chickens, um, just find a hobby, man. That's all this channel is really about. Hobby and just living your life as best as you can and just be happy. Often people forget to just be happy, you know? Gotta get this in the workstation. I really don't like to use this, but I will because it's a small project. A little latch thing. It's ass. I'm gonna sew this here, in a way. You know what I mean? But I don't want to sew it permanently, so I'm making a patch. Sometimes I get focused and then I forget I'm recording. That's why it's hard. It's hard to do shit by yourself. It really is in life. That's why I vlog kind of helps me stay focused. And then I can be creative with it and then just share it with people. I am wrapped up my body. I gotta change this needle though. This needle is bust already. When I mean bust, I mean like it's fucked up. <laughs> I don't have the patience today to be a perfectionist. I just want to put this shit on and be like, bro, I put this shit on. I don't know what it is. There it is, baby. Patch oh, on. Bro. Now I know. Please don't go. Hold me back. Make me slow. Hold my hand. Sewing and shit. Look at that. Mess everywhere. I gotta get organized with my sewing shit. I got organized with like my computer. I got organized with the, my birds outside and the garage. I just gotta get organized with. Cause I'm still all over the place. Again, still just getting out of depression, guys. Not using that as like a handicap or petty. It's just, it is what it is, man. Depression is a thing. Talk about it too. Just spread awareness, man. Be nice to people, mother. I got you, dog. He's hungry. Billy the goat. What's up, man? Found it. Bye. We got him because we're supposed to eat him. I don't know. We're supposed to eat it though. I wouldn't mind some goat soup. Goat is fucking good. I don't care what y'all say. You know, we gotta check up on our babies. Gotta check up how they're doing. Looks like they're doing all right. Feathers are coming out. Their wings are coming out. Oh yeah. So you see him. Oh yeah. And this hand just hatched. You can see the baby. That little head. A little eyeball. Oh my god. 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the only birds I'm gonna check on because the rest are just kind of like sitting on eggs or they're doing their thing. Dad told me to do something. I'm collecting eggs right now because we're about to boil some eggs and we're about to throw away some eggs. Oh my god. My dad just threw some eggs, like some rotten eggs in that uh, our fire barrel and the shit exploded. Ugh, shit nasty. But we're right now I'm grabbing the eggs that are sitting still in the bin with the hens that like are that hatched some eggs already. That should have hatched, but the hen is not a good hen. These are the eggs again. Say so test if it's rotten. Whatever floats is a no good. If it floats, I won't eat it. Ooh. 50 50. Bruh, that's crazy. I was so dumb, but I hopped on a plane, almost drove right back to the 541. Shitty you turned on the freeway, you turned me from a fiend to a way to your fun. I can wait in the sun for a little, but it's been real gray, and tonight it's a nice C1. I can wait in the cold for a while, if the reasons are plenty. I am gonna get my birds that are going out. Get them ready to go out, man. That way they're just kind of like quarantined. Easy to grab. When it's time to go out on Monday, naked neck. <laughs> For you guys who don't raise chickens, um, the moms do a pretty good job of moving everything around, you know, just adjusting it to their living situation. Gotta get two more. We lost two. You can see though, she hatched what? And this is seven, eight. 14 eggs, hatched six of 14. Not bad. Now I'm just uh, modifying my dad's little A-frame because I think that the, roost the roosters aren't going on top because they're just too high. I'll show y'all. Go, buddy. We are now putting some hay in the pen. Hey, hey, hey. And then we'll go in there and they'll mess around with it. But yeah, guys, nothing crazy going on. Just doing some tidying up, you know. Every day is like different, you know what I mean? You gotta do something different every day. I stay happy. So my third hatch, looking awesome. And she's also the mom of my first hatch too, so. I like her a lot. I'm so happy, bro. When they hatched yesterday, I was so like, excited. I wanted to grab them and everything. Gotta be patient, man. Yeah, hopefully I got some roosters in there. I know I know two hatch for sure, um, but I don't know about the rest of the eggs. There's eight eggs in there, so we'll see. I know she hatched three last, her, her last time. Uh, five of them were fertile. Or some of that, four of them were fertile. And this is my second hat. Hopefully I have some boys in there. Look, it's on the mom's back. <laughs> Chilling. It's a video. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty cool. Chicken? It's fully grown. He has babies. You want to see his babies? Mm -hmm. Your first time holding a chicken, huh? There's a goat on the ground. Just put it down gently. Oh. Dang, dude, you're a natural. I am a baby chicken. <laughs> here, right here, Bubba. Gentle, okay? Mm -hmm. Gentle. Remember, just go high. If you go high, they'll come to you. Can I hold it? Heck no. No, nah, just kidding. Alright, let's brother try. Gentle, gentle. Hey, don't squeeze. Alright. What do you think? Not bad? <laughs> By the way, we are not girls. We just have long hair, okay? Don't hate, appreciate. Get in there. Get in there, boy! Look at him. First time ever coming to a ranch and seeing chickens and holding chickens and he's not even scared. <laughs> Alright. Yee-hee! It was like a dream for me to come to a farm so that way I could see all the birds, cows, and all those other stuff. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday.